you know, obviously last game, great bounce back game. Uh, David McCormick, bounce back game for him as well, too. Uh, what do you think he needs to continue to do for the rest of the year to keep that momentum going? He has to really just stay aggressive. Um, you know, you, you and I, although it's a little difference in, in our sizes, we were both guards. Yeah. Small ball like Houston Rockets, they can't win with it. We yeah. need McCormick. We need Lightfoot. We need a post presence that requires tension in the post, yeah. not just somebody big. I mean, you can be 6'4 and 6'5, but require attention of the attention of the other team. As long, he is the gas that, that, that makes it go, in my mind. We, we need somebody in that post. Um, we had Dryland. When Dryland wasn't getting it done, we would push him into someone to make him get in foul yeah. trouble and get Piper in the game. We, we had to have somebody in that post, in that middle, to take up some space. And as long as he's aggressive and, and going up and not worrying about fouling out, but it's, it's not just he, it's, it's Mitch. Yeah. It's when Mitch comes in or whoever comes in to replace him, they shine. It gives him motivation that I, I got to go protect my spot and to yeah. keep him back out there on the floor. So we need him on the floor dominating. And, and even if he has to go 10 or get a couple of charges, I don't like the fouls setting picks. I mean, I'd rather you knock somebody down and get a foul that way and, and, and intimidate them from coming back in there trying to shoot a layup as yeah. opposed to 30 feet from the, from the goal setting a pick somewhat. But um, he needs to just keep it up and, you yeah. know, knock his free throws down when he gets to the line. Yeah. I mean, you, you said it best, man. You know, having a – being a guard, man, just having an inside presence, man, that just – like, I'm smiling now. Like, it just makes me be like, yeah, that means if you got an inside presence, everybody's going to be focusing. You know how to find the gaps. Yeah. Uh, and be ready to shoot, man. When, when, oh, yeah. when catch and shoot. Right? I mean, that's what I, I tell my players, and, and when I have my youth program, I tell them that I was the best shooter that they would ever meet. But if, if they can't pass me the ball, then I can't shoot it. So, um, like you said, if you got two people worrying about the post, and you can just yeah. spot up and catch and shoot the basketball, it, yeah. it opens it up for everyone. Yeah, you know, I think you know, you know, and David's gotten a lot of backlash. I'm not sure how much. You know, he is on social media. You know, hopefully he's not even paying attention to that. He just keeps digging in. And, you know, you said it best, man. The Jayhawk teams, they start finding their peak, gen you know, mid-January to February. And that's not just them together as a team. That's some. That's even the players individually. So, oh, yeah. I think, you know, um, you know, D David's going to figure it out. Um, but, again, I think he, like you said, he has to stay aggressive in order to keep that momentum going. Um, oh, yeah. You mentioned you mentioned five guards too. Or playing small, you know. What are your thoughts on KU playing five guards? No, I I like it, and in this day and age, you know that that seems to be the route that, that most teams are, are taking because they have to. Um, yeah. Because now you got the seven foot, no longer seven foot post players. They're seven foot guards. They're seven foot wing players, and so <laughs> the, the game is expanding out. So. Um, if you want to play your seven-footers as a guard, then they need to guard a guard. And if they have to guard me on the perimeter, then we can shot, fake, and take and, 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 and get them that way. So every now and then, you're going to have to play small. I mean, yeah. in, in our league, which is the ABA, it's a guard league. Yeah. So I have to, instead of taking the post out of the game, I just extended my offense starting at the free throw line as opposed to on the blocks. And just yeah. stretch it out. So if now, if your post players want to sit back and play a zone, we don't have to be at the three-point line to shoot a three. Yeah. So we're stretching it out, and they're going to have to come get us one way or the other. So um, yep. I, I like the small ball. I just don't want to live and die 